Hello and welcome to another session of Miss Thomas Learning From Home. Today we are going to compare the Black Death to the Plague to try and compare similarities and differences but also the changes and continuities between the two epidemics. So the Black Death happened in 1347 but it goes on um, to the 1350s um, and there are smaller outbreaks throughout all the way through to the plague, main Great Plague 1665 but there are smaller outbreaks throughout. The beliefs of the Black Death, it's the belief that God has sent it as a punishment for the people's sins. They also believed that it was due to miasma, bad air. The planets were out of alignment, but also your four humours were out of balance and therefore that is why you became unwell. The individual response is therefore flagellants. People used to take it upon themselves to whip themselves um, or pray to ask for God's forgiveness. We also saw people placing leeches on their skin to try and balance their four humours by letting blood. We also see people isolating themselves um, away from the issue. Okay, the local authorities asked the people to clean up their areas. Okay, so there's a massive clean up of the streets um, put in place, but really this has very little impact um, because it is not actually in, um, enforced. The national responses, the king orders priests to confess their sins to the nation um, and the nation's sins to be forgiven. This is the only and very small national response that we get. Most of your responses for the Black Death are taking place individually. Under the plague, you do see a slight shift in their beliefs. So they still believe, they still continue using that key word, that God has sent it as a punishment and they still very strongly believe in the miasma theory. However, the planet alignment and the four humours now seems to be a little less um, widely believed. So that's the change there. Consequently, we do see a huge shift and much more people putting themselves into isolation. We see people using posies, smelling um, nice herbs and spices under their noses to try and overcome that miasma. And we do see that continuation of the religious theme with praying um, with huge individuals um, taking to the church. The local um, response really does um, increase during the early modern period. Cambridge registers all of its cases of the plague. There's a continuation of cleanup, but Cambridge also puts in pest houses. So these are houses that will house all of the sick and keep them isolated from the rest of society. But our biggest change and our biggest difference between the Black Death and the Plague is the national response. Under the Tudors, Henry VIII, Elizabeth I, you do see plague orders taking place, but you also see the Plague Act such as 1604, which enforce quarantine, they enforce fines, they enforce pest housing to make sure that this plague epidemic is stopped. I hope that helps.